Hey guys, the print is finished. Magnetic ball ends with the J head. You can see I kind of, that's the bottom of the heat shield. And the J head, I insulated it with some, um, the fiberglass rubber stuff that came with my MG hot end. I had some spare, uh, spare pieces of that. Actually, it does make a difference insulating it with the fan. I, I held the temperature for this print, uh, um, within a few points within within one degree like 0.5 of a degree Anyhow, here's the how it turned out You can see it's Quite incredible. This is just uh, one of my kiss slicer profiles that I played with previously You can see before that's another one that I did with it previously and you can see how I had an issue with the um, loops not touching the fill. You know, normally it was something printed probably like that. You can see that issue is gone now. That was just a lash issue before. I think I just had too much play in the system. You can notice too that uh, it looks very square. The corners are very square. Um, very f flush. Very. Let's just pop it off here. Pop it off the bed. At the bottom. I think my layer height was um, just a slight bit high. I need to uh, lower it a bit. That's why uh, it looks like the loops aren't touching the fill um, all the way around here. You can see it's pretty much all the way around. It's just because my layer height was um, too high. I need to drop it about, uh, drop it a little bit more. But I knew that going into it, it was just kind of it was close. I just have to adjust the the height of XYZ again in the firmware. Just drop it by um, 0.1, I think probably. I just doing the. I just did a paper test with it. Anyhow, just look at that. You drop a few loops on the top there. That's just Kiss does that. Kiss slicer just does it because of the way it it prints the top part. It bridges it. Yeah, um, every printer I printed it on, you drop some loops there. But look at that. The layers are, are you, you can almost see, see the layers looking at it in person. Just incredible, incredible. This is the best I've ever printed one of these before. Just awesome. Stay tuned for more prints.